Ladies and gents, welcome to thejournalistdj.com, fastest growing house music platform, you know. And you know, you know the vibes, man. You know, today, you know, she needs no introduction. Last year, she was the most Googled person in, in South Africa. That's crazy, right? It's beyond crazy. How do you feel? How do you feel like, you know, be, being told what age or the whole South Africa is, you are the most Googled person in the land. How, how, was that, how was that day like for you? I mean... I'm sorry to say this, but it's a lifestyle. Mm. I wasn't shocked. I'm used to such stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and funny enough, I, I got to find out like in December yeah. and I had like an entire year of so yeah. much trauma and a lot of things going on. Yeah. And I think I knew, man, that yeah. no, no ways. Yeah, know? yeah. It's too much. Yeah, yeah. Like wherever I go to the spa, something as simple as the doctor, yeah. your own um, receptionist would be like, yeah. I'm like, girl, please, yeah. I'm here for help, man. Yeah. I, yeah, I kind of like knew, but I am 100% grateful. I feel so blessed to be in a position that I am. It brings me a lot. Um, and yeah, I feel I, I feel good that I'm hated on the social media, yeah. but in person, I can feel the love. I can feel the screams. I can yeah. feel everything. And yeah. I can see that, you know what? Uh, hate is always a reflection of love. Mm, wow, man, that's that's very deep actually when you think about it. Uh, so, you know, you're a DJ, and when you started DJing, it's like the entertainment industry just went crazy for some reason. Um, you know, you're a new era DJ, there's been a lot of stuff said about you, you you're getting gigs. Tell me about you being a DJ and just how's that been like for you? Well, in the beginning, obviously, it was it was very, very scary because obviously when you start somewhere, like it yeah. comes with a lot of imperfections, yeah. it comes with a lot of mistakes. But one thing about South Africans, they don't know that someone can grow, yeah. you know, from from concrete, someone can grow from all, all the noise and they can actually build their crafts or like yeah. sharpen their crafts so yeah. it gets better so where i am in life i'm 100 percent confident to say i'm a professional dj bitch yeah. and um <laughs> it's that it didn't start there yeah you know it came with a lot of people laughing at me all these videos of like me playing like yeah. going all over the net and i realized that the only way to grow is being talked about so yeah. i got used to it here i am keep talking i'll keep flexing <laughs> yeah and then did you um obviously when people criticize you you can you can grow did you like go for dj lessons after that and and improve your craft because you've improved what did you do no 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 actually i went for dj lessons for six months before officially introducing myself as a dj ah, i see and yeah then obviously i think i was making mistakes because of the nervousness the cameras i'm not used oh. to that oh, i'm used yeah. to just being an influencer that stays home take pictures yeah. so now i'm in the crowd the public yeah. i'm facing reality so i got really scared because of that and i would like just make flops here and there you yeah, know, yeah, because yeah. of my anxiety or whatever but now i'm very confident i can even shake my ass in your face you know, and, and I, the thing about DJing is that, you know, you can know the skill, but if you are nervous, you can, even the biggest guys make mistakes, even you know. Even today, you know, yeah. there's, there's a uh, DJ lady, um, she's South African and she's well known. Yeah. I, was, I was listening to her like just two days ago. Yeah. She's been a DJ for almost 12 years and she still made a mistake and I understood, yeah. you know. No one else in the crowd would understand. They are the first to judge because yeah. they have nothing else to do. Yeah. But, you know, like I actually realized that we're not perfectionists. Yeah. Uh, as long as we're getting booked, that's all that matters. And yeah. yeah and, and then tell me, are you going to drop music? Um, you know, in your career, wh where are you going? So, um, I've been dropping a lot of things. Tissues, I've been dropping <laughs> so many stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so I do want to drop uh, music because I really have a good voice, but I don't want to do I'm a piano just because I'm a, I'm a piano DJ. Oh. I, I, I'm into a different genre when it comes to dropping, so that's a surprise. I didn't know, you can sing. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Ah, okay. No, I want to hear, okay. Idol oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, no, my bad, my bad. Okay, so you, you plan on dropping music? I am planning. Um, this year, don't ask me which date, which this year, even if Kiritiri wants a December, it's this year I get Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, uh, you know, second last question. You recently changed management. How has that been going for you? Oh my gosh, so it's, it's actually my first time getting a question about a manager, and I feel like it's going to make him so special. Let's move on. 
Oh, okay, alright, cool. It's gonna cool. feel too special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, gonna... oh my gosh, I was really trending with Saya. No, let's not give him that power. Oh, but yeah. we can talk about other stuff, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, look, I completely understand, man. You know, the, the last question I was gonna ask you is that. Um, actually, you, you just answered that now. You know, what's next for you? But the reason why I was asking that is that you know there's a lot going on. You know, you're young, you're doing your thing, and it's it's quite interesting to see your growth in the in the in the media industry. What else can we look forward to from Cyan, Cyan, Bougie? Obviously, slaying, honey. But also, uh, I am planning on dropping my official merch. Um, not really merch like the key, but yeah, yeah. I mean, like you know, products that I'll be selling under Posh by Beauty, which is. Personally, mine, honey. I am 100% a CEO of Posh by Beauty. Uh, I introduced it out like a month ago, so now I will be putting out while I'll be selling. Um, and yeah, so far that is the only thing. Oh, and I think I'm going for BBL in May <laughs> again. Oh yeah. Because this is my body. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and another thing to expect from me is just. Um, Boyfriend content, I'm 100% in a committed relationship, less drama because my ref like whatever I do is a reflection of my partner, so I'm trying to, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because I, I mean, I want to get married and have babies. I don't want to stay on the internet forever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, man. Look, I feel like we can go on and on, but yo, you know, we just want to keep it sweet and short. Thank you so much, Cyan Bougie. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and we out.